chips disappear without a trace. Planes vanish into thin air. This is the Devil's Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, stretches between Puerto Rico, Miami, and Bermuda, an area of 500,000 square miles. Barely a month goes by without a boat or plane vanishing without a trace. Divers Mike Barnett and Joe Satelli are veteran underwater explorers. Today, they head out to look for clues to shed light on the mysterious disappearances. All right, guys, dive, dive, dive. After three minutes, a shape emerges. It's a 40-foot sailboat. Her name is Cringeline. Pleasure craft like this are the most common type of boat to disappear in these waters. This rare discovery provides a unique opportunity to find answers. But there are few obvious clues. Today we want to try to get inside the cabin to find more information of how this vessel was lost. The path is blocked by a piece of canvas. Finally, they cut through, revealing a narrow entrance. Joe makes a tough call. And you think, oh yeah, I can get in here. And then you move one way and something is, is preventing you from, from getting out. And if you tear a hose and there's nobody around, that's a death sentence. The opening is too tight. It's not worth the risk. The team must look elsewhere to find out why Cringeline and so many others like her ended up here. The answer may be closer than they realize. For centuries, sailors spoke of giant waves, waves that appear from nowhere and take a crew by surprise. For a very long time, people have treated uh, mariners who talked about huge waves as perhaps not being very serious. Perhaps they were drinking rum on board ship. Today, these monsters have a name. Rogue waves, and they are very real. Rogue waves can form in any ocean. The biggest reach 100 feet. Could this rare and elusive beast be hunting in the Devil's Triangle? <laughs> Professor Al Osborne is a leading authority on rogue waves. 
I think the possibility of uh, rogue waves in the area of the Bermuda Triangle is, is very real. They form because ocean waves are fundamentally unstable. This instability can cause an individual wave to suck water from its neighbors and start to grow. This means that locally, the single rogue wave, even when it's a little baby, can begin to rob energy from its neighbors and grow and grow and grow and become very high and very steep. Rogue waves can grow up to three times the height of surrounding waves. Al decides to create his own monster. He travels to a unique test facility in Hanover, Germany. It's one of the most advanced places in the world to study the impact of rogue waves. Today, he's testing a scale model of Kringeline. Okay, here we go. Here we are. That's wonderful, that's perfect. Very good. This tank is over 1,000 feet long and produces the biggest artificial waves in the world. So the boat is just following the swell, if you like. If you were on board and you had a tendency towards seasickness, you might feel it at this moment. This experiment is the first of its kind. Sailboats are designed to withstand heavy seas. But what happens when a rogue wave hits? So. OK, that's it. We wait. It's coming. It's coming. The four-foot boat is about to face a 10-foot wave, equivalent to a 40-foot boat, meeting a 100-foot rogue wave. OK, look at those big monsters coming up and back there. That's beautiful. You know, you're pretty scared at this point, right? Definitely. I was amazed that, that the boat, you know, it did go down slightly yeah. into this hole, and then it was coming up very smoothly, and I said, wow, that's, that is amazing. It's going to make it. Absolutely. And then the wave collapsed over it. Yeah. And of course, that was not a survivable. Definitely condition. not. Yeah. So if anybody would have been on that boat, <clears throat> no chance. Yeah. The boat faces a vertical wall of water. The test reveals the devastating impact of a rogue wave. You're dead because it breaks your boat. It sends you to the bottom before you could even contemplate calling for help. Rogue waves are one possible explanation for the mystery of the Devil's Triangle. But it can't be the whole story.